You Let's talk the, about the, NFT. The jet, yeah, NFTs. My favorite new topic. I'm so obsessed too. I'm spending a ton of time on this. Here's why Gary V thinks that NFTs are the future of crypto. Today, we are gonna be looking at what NFTs really are, the pros and cons, and why now is the perfect time to get involved. By the end of this video, you will discover why NFTs are the future of cryptocurrency and how you can get a hit start so you don't miss out on capitalizing this opportunity. For me, in order, it was about building intellectual property. You know, I've, I'm an 80s kid, Transformers, Thundercats, but Pokemon, Harry Potter, uh, you know, I even built VaynerMedia mainly to buy nostalgic IP and refurbish it. I see NFT as a gateway to create IP. And then underneath it, I'm using the smart contract. Most people are just putting out art. All 10,255 tokens are a ticket to an annual three-year contract for everybody who buys one conference called Geekon which is looking to be like a Davos meets South by Southwest meets Rolling Loud and Coachella. So it, what people are missing is it's a smart contract and real life things can happen, not just the digital aspect. Anytime smart people think something I'm doing is wacky on first blush, I know I'm doing something really important. <laughs> so to break it down, first and foremost, it is a uh, platform that has a smart contract underneath it that gives every single person of the 10,255 token holders, a ticket to a three-year super conference that I'm also announcing called VCon. Think of it as South by Southwest meets Davos, meets Rolling Loud, Comic-Con, a huge conference. So where, where people have been missing NFTs and continue to miss NFTs is the smart contract. This isn't about me putting out a piece of art, even though I've been doodling for a long time, even though this is also the beginning of me uh, standing up an intellectual property that I'm going to be building for the rest of my career. What I'm trying to do is bring enormous value underneath the contract, including 555 gift goats, my friend, that actually, when you buy that token, you register to the site, and a minimum of six times a year over three years, you're getting a surprise physical gift in the mail. What I've done is created triggers to allow me to bring tremendous off chain value while using the on-chain dynamics. One of the reasons so many artists are not gonna be quote unquote starving is because of a secondary market. And Very true. what is remarkable, I mean literally, I don't know if you can see this, they're starting to form a couple little goosebumps here. You know, nice. um, the fact that the artist can continue to get royalties. It's a revolution. It's a revolution, mm -hmm. Roger. I mean like, my God. You know, I could super understand the artists of the past who would be super sad. They would make a painting, the gallery they had a deal on would pay them a certain amount. And they wake up 11 years later and the thing's selling for $11 million and they got 8,000. Yep. I mean, my God, there's mm -hmm. an art renaissance and then comes commerce and it gets a little blurry for a little bit. And just staying true to who you are during this time is imperative because I do think it's gonna be a little bumpy here for 24 to 36 months as it settles. There's gonna be millions of NFTs projects and, and most won't succeed. Walk me through what it is that you see. What's that potential that tells you this is here to stay? Human behavior. We need social currency to communicate with each other. The clothes we wear, the watches we wear, the homes we buy, the photos we take on vacation the blue check mark on Instagram, the Fortnite skins and NBA 2K plus ups. This is already happening. Once people understand, understand the scale of what's gonna happen when we start having public wallets that show our tokens, it's going to become the asset version of social media. I think with NFTs, a lot more people will be involved. Every creator, every artist, every, look at me. I've doodled my whole life and this is gonna give me a chance to kind of play a little bit. I've and been seeing you sharing them more. Uh, and people are blown away how good I am at them. Yeah. And I'm like, because I've been doing it a lot my whole life. Like I'm decent yeah. at it. I think the biggest responsibility for people that care mm -hmm. during this era is getting everybody to understand it's internet 2000. The NFT space is forever and going to be incredible. Huge. 
the next 24 months has the potential to be uncomfortably volatile yeah. with a very high likelihood of a substantial bubble burst from a project level, yeah. leaving 92 to 97% of things worth a lot less than you paid for it, but leaving three to 8% of being probably down a little or down some with 17 years from now, it being through the fucking roof. And yeah. that is the that to me is the sum up of what's gonna happen in the yeah. short term. Uh, I'd be curious to get your take on maybe where we're at in terms of speculation, perhaps greed, when you see oh. it coin up more than 10,000% oh. in the year, where do you put us at? Which crypto projects have you worried? Most, I mean, this is internet. This is internet 95, six, seven, eight, nine. Like there's an absolute NFT winter coming. There's too many projects that are completely built with no intent other than I'm a celebrity, I'm an intellectual property, I want money as fast as possible. The same way I'm gonna print t-shirts, the same way I'm gonna do this, I just want it. I am a pop culture collectible trader. This is the most native thing to me, which is why for me, the characters you just saw on screen, I'm thinking about how I'm gonna spend the next 45 years of my life getting them on backpacks, sneakers, into consumer packaged goods on a Netflix television show, kids books, video games, that, and that will inherently impact the people that bought that collectability. And in the short term, the conference, the gift goats that give you surprise gifts six times a year, people are just going to short term. So I think, and then there's just supply and demand issues, everybody. Every single intellectual property and every single influencer and famous person and any person with any kind of expertise or size of audience will launch an NFT project because there's no reason not to. No joke and not kidding. I am in this space for the rest of my life yeah. on all angles. As an investor of platforms, the shovels and the picks, as a collector, flipper of the art, mm -hmm. and as a creator. And there you have it. What are your thoughts on NFTs and the future of it all? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. This channel, we talk a lot about NFTs, crypto, as well as utilizing it in content creation. And if you want to be really good at this, be sure to binge watch the playlist that is going to appear in front of you right now.